Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and today we are doing a gas video. We're going to be looking at genuinely approachable Sudoku from the daily Sudoku channel on the Discord server. Puzzles published and created by Clover, Bill Murphy and Philip Newman and they should take well, they should take me less than 10 minutes each. That's the point, I think, of genuinely approachable Sudoku. There will be hat times. They're notional hats that you get if you solve the video in a certain speedy time. There's one hat for one time and two hats for a quicker time. A dinosaur is what you get awarded if you don't get it in time, but you do finish. And um, we'll have a look at those in a moment. I'll go through all the blurbs from Discord and the rules and then have a go at the puzzles. Don't forget that tomorrow we'll be streaming at 10 p.m. our time. Do join us then. We're looking at the chance of Senar, a fascinating, well, so I'm told, a fascinating game that we'll be having a go at. And also tomorrow we should be able to give you details of, well, you should be able to find tomorrow the, the Kickstarter, the new Fog of War story Sudoku hunt that um, we hope to bring you. So do check that out um, tomorrow. Also, of course, uh, we've got Simon's Solve of Crux on the channel now. We've got my solve of um, the Times Monthly Club Special Cryptic Crossword on Patreon, along with the Sudoku Hunt, which is open till the 20th. That one is Demono's Solver in Sudoku Land, where the solver gets shrunk and has to get himself back to normal size by solving Sudoku. Yeah, 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 that makes sense, promise. Um, and then there's Sven's Sudoku pad, and there's all our merchandise, which would make great Christmas presents for the person in your life to whom Cracking the Cryptic means so much, unless that's you, in which case buy yourself something. No, okay, so we're gonna look at the rules and, and the blurbs for these puzzles and what they say. So, this one on the screen now, by Clover. The puzzle name is Killer. The year is 2023. Ah, oh, yes. Philip has finally replaced his fallible human meat body with cold, hard titanium. Somewhere deep inside, in the intricate workings of a brain made of nanites and artificial synapses, the urge to create Killer Sudoku remains. Hi folks, Clover here. Philip's at a doctor's appointment this morning, so we've swapped days. All is well, but feel free to send him some extra love. Love to you, Philip. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means we're going to be putting one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box, as I imagine we will do in all of today's puzzles. Digits in cages don't repeat, must sum to the indicated total. The dinosaur is a Robo Rotosaurus, and that's day one. Day two, this is from the 11th of October. Philip clearly recovered from the doctor's surgery. Um, and says, the year is 2023. Philip has finally woken up to post the October 10th, 2023 gas. Yesterday's, oh, I mean today's gas, is an Exums Sudoku. There are two versions today. The uns... Um, okay, so he's given two versions. Now, I have made a decision that I'm going to go with the hard one. So he said that, that one image was the original version which is a touch hard for gas. The actual gas has two extra givens. So we'll include links to both below in case, well, no, not in case you want an extra challenge. I'm going to take on the harder challenge. You can take on the easier challenge in the links under the video. Philip says, it's the least I can do after posting the puzzle 18,000 years and a day late. My appointment yesterday, he tells us, was imaging of my left shoulder. Expect an update with my next gas. Wow. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues outside the grid tell you the sum of the first X digits in the corresponding row or column, starting with the digit adjacent to the clue and continuing away from the clue, where X is the adjacent digit. So, let's use as an example, if we had a 4 here, that would mean the first four cells down here would add up to 23. If that was a 4, then these four cells would add up to 23. That's how X sums works. I think it's a great rule. I'm always entertained by it. The dinosaur that time is an artificial agrosaurus. The next puzzle is called by Myself by Bill, which is almost certainly not egomania, but much more likely uh, the name of a track that Bill's been listening to lately. 
And, well, Bill or somebody says, traveller, stop. If you take this road, you'll be fundamentally changed for better or worse. You will return from this journey irrevocably altered in ways you cannot comprehend before you undergo this transformation. No one on earth will understand the metamorphosis except for those who experienced it with you. The people who love you may cease to truly know you. Walking backwards will not help you. Walking forwards is inevitable. You cannot stand still. You may not recognize your home. It cannot stand still either. If you survive this, you will be part of a world that does not yet exist. If you die, you will come back wrong. Traveller, you have been warned, and now you must go. Apparently that's from Beckett Jones, the traveller's warning. Very mystical. Today's gas, continues Bill, is a difference, Sudoku. Today's gas was brought to you by the idea that maybe the idea that knowing everything by your second rodeo is crazy, but it does help. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits separated by a white dot must differ by the number in the dot, and the dinosaurs of venerable Vetu, oh, hoo, hoo, a venerable Veteropristisaurus. And once again, I am left with the impression that Bill is on a different plane from myself. Um, and I don't even know what airport he's going to. Right, in the next puzzle, Philip's title is, that's three in the top right. Zoe says, hi, she's helping me write this intro. So... Clover and I swapped Tuesday because I was getting an arthrogram stroke MRI of my shoulder. I had my follow-up yesterday which confirmed what the doctor suspected. I have a torn labrum. What's a labrum? Good times. It's likely, likely just a wear and literal tear thing, but I'm going to claim that I tore it while trying to solve a whispers puzzle. We'll be having surgery sometime soonish and I'll be in a sling for a month. I'd better crank out a bunch of puzzles this weekend so I have a backlog. Wow, good luck, Philip. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits long arrows must sum to the total given in the corresponding circle. Digits in circles separated by a white dot must have the difference given, just like the last puzzle. Digits in cells separated by a black dot must have the ratio given. So there's a ratio of 3 to 1 between those cells. They could be 6 and 2. The dinosaur is a labral liobangosaurus, and that promises to be a very interesting puzzle. Then our fifth one for this session, we do them in fives, is Zone Sudoku by Clover, who says, gosh, I'm really in the zone, Sudoku zone, this morning. The end zone, the drop zone, the demilitarized zone, the auto zone, you'll have to solve this gas and find out. Normal Sudoku rules apply, and the small clues in cages indicate digits that must appear somewhere within that cage. So this one doesn't add up to eight, it has an eight in it. Wow, okay, these are the puzzles we're doing today. Give them a try on the link under the video. Remember, for Philip's first puzzle or for the, sec yeah, for, for the second puzzle, you can choose an easier version than I'll be doing. Right, let's get... Ooh, hang on. Uh, nearly hit the wrong button again, as I so often do. Let's get cracking. Okay, so we've got a 30 cage, which is 9876, so that's a 5. Oh, it's Clover. I should have started in box 1. Uh, that's a 4, actually. So this wasn't too bad as long as you picked up on the nuances there. Let's try it over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, not so obvious to me what I do there. 9875 in that corner. That's got to be a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's got to be a 4. That is... It can't be a 2 anymore, so now it's got to be a 3. That now must be a 1, and that's a 2. That's a very good box. Um, in fact, I can now put 4 down here. Keep two out of that cell. Let's look at box one. One, two, three, four there. This must be a five. This must be a... No, don't know. Sudoku, not really. This must be a six. These others are seven, eight, or nine. Now, that can't be nine. Just looking at what can go in the rest of their cages. That can't be nine, so that is nine. That can't be 8, so it's a 7 with a 2 there. That is now an 8 with a 2 there. This is not obvious. 5, 7, 9, 6. Um, those don't have an 8, 9 pair in, so 8, 9 are there. 
What's that? Not seven four three eight or two nine. It's five six. That is one two or three. This can't be a three, so that has to be seven or eight. No two there. Oh, no one in any of those cells. So a two, three, four, triple. These are five, which can't be in the ten cage, and seven. Right, this is going well now. In fact, I can do all of these digits, and box one is finished. That can't have a five, nine in. So nine and five go there. That can't be a six. Don't know how long that's been available for. This is seven or eight going with five or six and it can't be with five so we're getting everything done in terms of the boxes or the cages I mean um, two four seven nine that one's got to be a four nine pair I reckon out of those now what are these digits six and seven that can't be six because of its other digits. So there we go, they're done. That's now a three. We can finish off box nine, row eight, row nine. Something looks like it might be wrong. I hope not. I hope that's just a bad instinct. Five, seven, six. This is four. I can do seven and eight now. Now I can finish this, these columns. Uh, eight, four, three to go, and now there can only be one place for every single digit in this final box. Uh, now one was not meant to be there, it was meant to be there. Two and six, eight and nine. There we go. Three minutes, 37. Let's just check the times for the two hats. Um... Oh, I just realized it didn't read the last dinosaur for the final puzzle. It's a z zoned out zby, not a typo mark. Oh, that's a note for me. Sorry, I missed that. Anyway, um, the time for this puzzle, oh, six and a half minutes. So that's quite a straightforward guess. So my time was within the two hat time. Now, here's the one I'm taking the chance on. Even though I've got a run of two hat puzzles, I'm going with the harder version quite like X sum, so I'm hoping it'll be all right. Let's get cracking. Uh, I think what Philip tends to do is not change the time very much in terms of um, the, the dinosaur, sorry, the hat times. I think that had to be right. Can't be all two. Yeah, that is right. This is now a two. So those are quite helpful clues at the top. This is gonna have to be at least five. Could be six. Could it be six? One, two, three. Four, six, seven. Yes, it could. Oh, let's look down here. That is a naked six. Seven and eight. Okay, that's all gone well at the top. This can't be a two. It can't be a four either, because two would have to be in those cells. So that's a three. These add up to seven, and they don't have two or three. They're one and six. This one... Doesn't look like it can be a four or a three, so it must be a two. 10 is a helpful number. Now, these numbers are not so helpful, but they've got to be, they can't be seven. So they're from four, five, and six. Now let's see what we can do by Sudoku. We've got a three, seven pair there, one, nine pair there, four and six in those cells. Uh, we've done that one. This one we haven't done. So it's the 23s and that 20 that we have. Ah, that 8 is quite big. So if that was a 5, this would be 1, 2, 4 as a triple. That is possible. If that was a 6, that would be too much. We'd be up to 14 and you'd have to have at least 6 there. So that is 5 or 4. This one... Ooh, six and a nine would be 15, and that would be too much, because you couldn't just put eight in those cells. So it isn't a six. That's now a four, five pair. We get an eight by Sudoku here. I've only just seen eight in one of those cells. Um, we've got four, five, eight, two, three, one, six, seven, and nine still to place in the column. Now, I should probably be trying to make an estimate of which one is... Ah, oh, look! 
This is quite interesting. If that was a 4, these have to add up to 19. But none of them can be 9 or 8. And only one of them can be 7. So the most they could be is 765, which is only 18. So that's not a 4. That's quite cool. That's a 5. These now add up to just 9. Without using a 5, they're either 621 or 234. Um, that one can't be 2 or 4. That one can't be 6. This one can't be 4. I'm just going to colour those to remember that they add up to 9. These add up to 16. Oh, I desperately need to do some Sudoku here to figure this one out. I think I should think about this. If Oh, hang on. What about that being a 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. That would be 5, 8, 9. You could do that with an 8 there. Actually, can there be an 8? I don't know. It's not, worth, it's not worth the time to figure that one out. There's a 3 in one of those cells. There's a 2 in one of those two. I've got to find a way to make some progress here. Right, let's think about this. One of them is a 2. Nine, none of them is a 7. Uh, that's not enough. Mm, these add up to 16. These add up to 9. So that's 25 plus 9 there is 34, 42, 49. Plus that equals 45 plus those. And this is 1, 2, 3, or 9. Now, if it's a 9, 54 minus 45, hang on, I've, I've lost track. 16, so 14, 20, that's 34. 41, 49, plus this. So 50, 51, 52, or 58. Take away 45, and these are 5, 6, 7, or 13. They can't be 13, so that's not a 9. That's a low digit. So 9 is in this group. 4, 13, and then another pair adding up to 7, which aren't 4, 3. They're either 5, 2, or 6, 1. If they're... If they're 5, 2, this cell is a 5. And one of these is a 2. If it's 4, 1, 6, 9, 8. Oh, come on. I'm not getting there in this. Now, that can't be a 7. should have noticed that. 3, 1, 6. That can't be a 1, 6 pair. Ah. Six, two, eight, four. So there's a seven definitely there. Then we've got three, five, and nine to go in here. That one's not a three. This is a four, five pair that are done. That makes this a six. Right, they do add up to 23. So these add up to 22 without a six in. So they're eight, five, and nine. Oh, I don't know what I just did there. Um, my created a bar down there. Right, that's a 5-9 pair. But we just put a 9 in one of those, so they're actually resolved. 5, 8, 9, 6. Right, so that clue is answered. Now, these can't have a 5 in now. That's lovely. So, they're not 9, 5, 2. They're 9, 6, 1. 8, 5. So we've got 2, 3, and 7 to place in that row. That one's not a 2. Um, this can't be 1, 2, 6. No, that's not true. It could be still. Could it? Ah, it's not true. That would be 1, 9, and that would be a 6. That works fine. Ah, I thought I was onto it there. I wasn't. Um, 3, 1, 6, 2, 8, 9. These, that is 4 or 7. 
that's four, five, or seven. One of them's definitely a four. You can see why it's not quite gas. I may have, I may have uh, shot my bolt here by trying to do this in the time. That's annoying. That's annoying. I was going quite well, but I just not well enough. Five, eight, nine, three, seven. That is one, four, or six. There is a triple here. Seven, three, two. So that is a naked five because of the eight, nine pair above it. That's an eight. These don't have a nine in it. It's a three, five pair. Three, five, eight, seven. Two and nine are down here. Come on, come on. Let's gallop home. Five, eight, nine. One of those is a two. I don't know which one. Three, eight, nine, five, six. That's not a three. One, four, seven, two. Two is definitely in one of those cells. Oh, man. One of those is a seven, so that isn't. Oh, chocolate teapot triple. Bad timing for that. Two, three, four, or one, two, six here. I just wish I could disambiguate these two and then I'd be done. Oh, that's three, five. They're done. That's a three. Now I've done it. This is two, three, four. Wow, my wish suddenly came true. Two, four. That's a one. There's no one there. That's a one. That's nine and one in the center. That's not a nine. Um, one, eight, nine, four, six. We've got a seven. That's two. That's seven. That's three. That's five. That's now two and seven. That's one. That's four. Now we are sort of finishing off, but not quickly enough, I suspect, unless Philip has been generous with the times. Um, Five, five, six, eight, three, seven, nine has to be there. Eight, seven, nine, two, six, three. So, one, five, four, that's a seven, that's a two. Across the top, they're not done, but that is. And that's eight or nine. How is that not done? Oh, it is. Nine, eight, nine. There we go. Five, two, nine, one, four. This is three and six, then eight and seven at the top. Nine in the corner, seven there. Six and one. We've got six and nine. There, six and one here is probably done, but I can't see how. One and four here should be done. That's a two. Ah, that four sorts out the one four. Gets a six there, one and six. Nine minutes 52. Ah, uh, it's eight minutes 30 for the, for the non-gas version. So I can't claim the two hats there. Um, I wonder what the two extra givens were anyway. Good puzzle, and Philip's judgment is absolutely spot on about it not being that easy. Oh, look, for the. He called the puzzle October 10th, 2023, as if posted on October 11th, 2023. It's very weird with the uh, 18,000 gap in years. Anyway, let's have a look at Bill Murphy's Myself. Digits separated by a white dot differ. Right, let's restart the clock. Let's get cracking. That's a four, that's a five, that's a six. So this is a seven, eight, nine triple. That's a one, two, three triple. We can eliminate a couple of the possibilities. Four now. Down here there's choices. One or seven, two or eight. Oops. Three or nine. That's not a choice. That is. Lots of choices along here. That's a choice. I've put in the wrong numbers. That's not clever. That's a choice. Ooh, it gets a bit trickier, doesn't it? Oh, that can't be two anymore. So that's two. Now there's a one, three pair, and that's five. Five, two, one, three. That's weird how that works. This is a five, eight pair. And that's three, six, nine. Now I can disambiguate all of these. One, four, seven. That's a three and a one. Five, eight, two, three, one. This is a four, six pair. That's nine, seven. This is an eight. Okay, these central columns, uh, rows rather, have been quite kind. I can do these as well. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine to go in that set. Now I'm going to have to get into the corners somehow. That can't be eight, seven, two, or five. Now it also can't be one or nine because it's in the middle of two joindy up cells. This is a sequence, so it can't go seven, six, five, four, three, so that's not a six. So this is smaller, two or three. This can't be five, so it's got to be, f oh, hang on. 
right, something in my logic was wrong there. So let's go back to this cell. I said it couldn't be 1 or 9, or 2, 5, or 8, 7. I think that's right, so it's 3, 4, or 6. And I was thinking, this must either ascend or descend. If that was a 6, it would have to descend, and that was wrong thinking. It, could, it might not. If it was a 4, well, we can't have 2 there, and we can't have 5 there, so it's not a 4. If it's a 3, again, we can't have 2 or 5, so it is a 6. We can't have 5 there, so we have it there. Okay, I've found a way it works, which is a relief, because if it didn't, the puzzle wouldn't work. Then we've got 1, 3, 4 over there. We've got 1, 4 as a pair there, 2, 3 up there. That is at least resolved. So now we look down here. 4, 5, 7 doesn't do much. Okay, so which let's pick on this cell again. 1, 3, 4, 6, 9. But again, it can't be 1 or 9. Oh, it's exactly the same. 3 and 4 would require either 2 or 5 here. So that's a 6. Then we can go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Thank you for the symmetry, Bill. As I find myself saying very often in this series. That's not a 4. So 4, 3, 1, 5, 7, 9 and 2 in these two. 8 and 6 there. 8 and 7 are a pair there. We've got a 4 to fill in in the corner. That's a naked 3. We can do 2 and 1. Must be able to do this 5, 7, 8, 7 grouping. That's become a 6. This is a 4. Actually, I can finish those off. 5 and 7. I can do those now. 8, 7, 8 and 2. Uh, must be able to do these. 3 and 9. 9 in the corner and a 6 to finish with. 3 minutes 44. The 2 hat time was... Seven minutes there, so I'm still on form. I just chose a tough Philip puzzle. Here's Philip again. I'm not calling Philip a nemesis for this performance. I just chose my own hard path. Right, let's restart on this one. Now, I like this. Now, that three ratio, and it can't have a three in. It's got to be six and two. Then I don't know about the one three pair. Now this can't have a 6 in, so it must have a 3 in, and we can't put a 3 in the circle. So that's 9, 3. That's 2 away, so it's odd. So that's a 1, 5 pair. Now that's, oh no, there's another 3. Right. Two, 1, 3, 6, 9, and 2 are the only things that can be in these um, black dot, black 3 dot jobbies. 4, 7 and 8 to place in row 2. Now, what about this? This is interesting. 2 ratio, 2 difference. I'm tempted to think they're all even, but that may be crazy talk. It may even be impossible. I'm going to look at this. We've got 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. So I think that's got to be a 7, 9 pair. Oh no, that would be if it was a white 2 cell. In fact, I think it's got to be a 4-8 pair. This can't be 8 because that's a difference of 2 away, so that's 2, that's 6 in the arrow. This is a very interesting puzzle, actually. I haven't seen one like this before at all. This can't be 7 with the difference of only 1 to there, so it's a 3. This is 2 or 4. 6, 2, 1, 3. This is 4 or 8 can't be 4, so it's 8, that's therefore 4, and this becomes 1. I mean, the puzzle does clear itself up, you just have to work out how it works. 8, 4, 3, 1, 9, so 5, 6, or 7. But the 2 thing says it's got to be 6, 3, 1, 2. Look, that arrow's done. This is crazy. That's a 3, sort of by Sudoku. Probably I could do this now. Yes, you can't put one, three, four, or six on this arrow, so it must have a two. That's going to put two in one of those cells. There is six in one of those, doing a bit of Sudoku suddenly now. One of these is a three by, by Sudoku. 
and it can't have a 2 on the arrow. 3, 1 equals 4. 3, 4 equals 7. And that's all. They're the only possibilities. So there's definitely a 4 in play somewhere there. Not that helpful. What about this? 6, 2, 4, 3, 1. Well, I don't like it. 5, 7, 8, or 9. Ah, but this can't be even because it sees all the even digits. So this is odd, and that's even, and therefore suddenly it must be 8. That's crazy. Right. Um, the 8 arrow can't use 1 or 5, so it uses 2 or 6. Uh, we know the order. I didn't spot that. In fact, that's a 2 by Sudoku now. 81592. It's a bit hard to know where to go next in this puzzle for information. 8413, that 7-9 pair makes this a 5-6 pair. Eight four three. Um, yeah, I'm really getting a bit bogged down. Oh, 9 there has made that a 7. That makes that a 9. 7 at the top of the grid. There's a 1 in one of those, so that's a 3-4 pair. That's a 7. Oh, it's just lots of things that I haven't been spotting as we go along. 9-9. Nine, nine. That could be a 9. 2-6. That can't be a 4. Still, I don't really know where to look. This is 1, 5, or 9. It can't be 1. Oh, it can't be 5, given this 1, 2 pair. So that is a 9. 5, 7. I'm just trying to put in the candidates. But again, OK, that is 3, 6, which it's not, or 4, 5, which it is. Um, 9, 4, 5, 7, 3. So that is a naked 2. Then that's not a 2, that is. This is 5 or 9, and that's 5, that's 9. This is not a 1, so that's a 1. This is not a 5 either. Right, so this is all coming together now. 1, 4, or 8 there. 7, 5, we've got 4 and 9 in this column, which can be placed. That's given us a 7, 8 pair and a 4 on the other side of the grid. That gives us 4 at the bottom. That's a 7. We've got a 5-8 pair to fill in there. Then that's a 1. 2 in the corner, 6 there. That's a 1. This is 5 and 9. That can't be 5 based on the arrow. Good. Um, that's 7, fixes 8 and 7. Now, 4-6-8 down here. Shouldn't have looked at that next. There's lots of possibilities, but this is a 5. That fixes 4-5. That's 8. That's 1 and 8 in the corner. Still, oh, I can do those if I do 5, 1 first, then I can do 5, 6. That gives me a 6 here, 7 here. 1, 5 is resolved. That resolves 1, 3. That's 4, 8, 6. That does 4, 3. No, it doesn't. It clashes with this. OK, it went wrong there. Let's go back to that. Oh, that was ages ago, you muppet. No, look, I just wrote in the wrong number. So let's go forward. Let's just fix that as a 6. I think we might be all right. I wrote in the wrong number. And I'm annoyed, but... These involve a 9, not a 6. 9's in one of those. I'm, I'm getting myself quite confused here, but I, th I think this has sort of untangled it. I just need to be very careful now. 6 and 3. Um, 6, 8, 9 to put in. That's an 8. That's 6. That's 9. That puts 8 in the corner. Yes, there was a 1 confirming that. Now, let's just get the rest of this right and retire a bit embarrassed, but successful. That's not a three or a nine, that's four. See, I think this is gonna work. Four, eight. No, it doesn't like it. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Have I messed it up here? Looking for Sudoku foul-ups. 
which I'd much rather find than something wrong on the arrows, because that's going to be a lot. There's a problem up here. There's two nines. Oh, look, I can swap that eight and nine. There we go. Seven minutes 50. I don't deserve the points. What was the timing on that one? Um, it was seven minutes 30. No, I mean, fair enough. I, I messed that up. I mean, I think it was when I entered the nine there that I got those the wrong way around. I could have saved the 20 seconds by not, well, just by not making the error there. But there we go. The hats have exploded. It's always Philip. Philip manages to achieve nemesis status without really trying there. And we go to Clover's zone Sudoku to finish off. Right. Ah, I'm annoyed with myself. Let's start again. Okay, there's a two in that. So the two in this is there. The two in that is there. That's a one nine pair. Similar story over here. Three there and three, three there. Here's where the fat finger mistyping is what's giving me the problem. Same story here, actually. Five and five. That's a four six pair. And down here, yes, eight there, eight there, a one seven pair. Actually, that seven is doing the same job. Maybe this was happening all around the corner. Yes, it was up here and I wasn't noticing. Yes, in every corner, these kind of outy cells are, are very doable in every corner because Clover is as big a fan of symmetry as the other guys. Four, six, three, seven, eight there, two, five, nine, there. Okay, so there's a two six there and a seven nine there, so that must be five. That can't be seven. In fact, oh my goodness, these central cages, they have all their digits, don't they? Four nine six eight. Oh, this. Well, I'm going to do this in a sort of weird pencil marky way. That's a one three pair. That's a 5-8 pair, but we do have an 8 in one of the boxes. That now must be 4-6, and that's 1-3. The 4-6 sorts out that pair. 9 looks at that cell. 1-2-7-8 up here. 1 can only go there. That must be an 8. This is a 2-7 pair, and we've got a 7 in one of the boxes. Excellent. That can't be 7. That is... That's not five, nor's that. That's not five. This, is that not solved? No, this is solved. That's a three. Um, that is a one, therefore. Three there. Oh, look, that's a four. That's a six. Let's look at this central box. That's six. That's two. One, three, and five still to place. That's five. Okay, two, four, and seven around here. They just go in. That's become an eight. That's a six. Yes, this three, one pair are doable thanks to that three. Eight there, five there. Let's finish off the perimeter and then we'll just have that inner perimeter row and column to sort out. Yeah, look at that. That's the perimeter finished. Four, six, eight up here. Let's do that as six and a four, eight pair. Five, six, nine along here. That's five, nine, six, one and seven. And five to finish the box. One, two, nine down here. That goes two, one, nine, three, six. That's a four. One, five, nine. No, I'm trying to hit nine. One, five, two and eight. Two, eight and four. And then one column to do three, four, seven, nine. There we go, three minutes 25. So if it's Bill or Clover, I'm fine. Six and a half minutes was the time there. If it's Philip, I either commit Harry Kiri or I suppose the opposite of that is I get sliced up by Philip on that one. Very good puzzles though, as always, great fun doing the gas. Um, I love the genuinely approachable puzzles. They are just 
fun from the start to the finish, as always. And I thank the constructors, as always, from the bottom of my heart. We'll be back with you for more Sudoku tomorrow. Thank you for watching and bye for now.